I'm just getting into my groove here today. If you are new to my channel, I am Jan, Antiques from Karen. Karen was my mom. My mom passed away uh, in 2018. She was an antique dealer for about 35 years, and uh, I inherited her hoard. So I am now a reseller, and all of my inventory is in my barn now. Um, I've been doing this for four and a half years, going through her estate. And um, now I'm at the point where I've sold her property. Um, and the remaining inventory is in my barn. So I research, I do live sales, uh, I sell on Facebook Marketplace, I sell on eBay. Um, I know everybody's talking about uh, New Year's resolutions right about now. Um, I don't really do New Year's resolutions, but I am starting kind of clean slate uh, in the new year. So my goals can be resolutions. You don't think I have enough bubble wrap? Hi, Aiden. Hi, Deanna. Dawn, it's good to see you. It's been a while, girl. Amy. Hi, Sandra. Oh, I'm glad you joined our live. That was our, that was just a, like a reseller live listing. I've learned that um, most resellers are all by themselves. So you don't get that like cube farm team feel. So sometimes it's kind of cool just to have other people working around you. So when I do those um, live listing, researching, working or whatever, um, you know, send me, send me an email, which is right here on the screen and, uh, and let me know if you want me to notify you, uh, beforehand. Um, they're usually pretty impulsive. They're not scheduled at this particular point, but I would be happy for you to join me with your, whatever you're working on. Um, whether it be invoicing or if you're prepping for a whatnot sale or selling on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, whatever, you know, just, it's, it's just kind of, it's like the buddy system, you know, and when you're on camera, you can't get up and wander away. I mean, you can because there's other people on. So, you know, people aren't left with complete dead air, but yeah, if you ever, uh, if you ever want to join, um, or even just be in the chat, you know, just, just ring that bell on my channel. Hello, Miss Maggie. Yes, it has been a while. No news on my car. So, um, my car was stolen out of the driveway, uh, Tuesday night, Monday night. I don't know. It's all kind of blurry at this point. Um, but it, uh, it was recovered. Um, it's got a lot of under the hood damage. So it's currently at a collision service center and, uh, it went to the collision center first and they're closed on the weekends. So I don't have, I don't have any word on that yet. Ah, uh, good Wida. I love seeing you pop up. That's awesome. Yeah. Cause I mean, even if you're just thinking about reselling, well, I stumble around enough for, to make you feel pretty cool if you start doing it. Cause I'm certainly no, uh, no professional, but you know, I've been saying that for a long time and it was funny because so, uh, Courtney from Bolo Buddies had done, um, had done a video, a members video on what sold type of thing. And, uh, she, she featured the 19th century, uh, hobnail safe that we had found. And that's, you know, back in, back in older videos, my story, there is a playlist. If, uh, if you just want to binge it and you run out of stuff on Netflix to run in the background, um, 
but anyway, uh, right after she posted that video, the sale actually fell through and, um, we did just get another offer, uh, on new year's Eve and we sold the safe and I'm not sure where, where was I going with this? Lost my train of thought. There was a reason that I was talking about this. Oh, 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 okay. I remember. So, so anyway, um, it turned out that the guy was a collector, but he was also, um, you know, he set up at flea markets and, and co-ops and, and stuff like that. And, you know, he had looked around and he had picked out some pretty high dollar items and, you know, he, he was taken aback when I asked for, you know, the actual value of the item. And he was like, yeah, that's, that's not for me. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm really not a, a resellers seller, you know, more, my target is more collectors of the, of the stuff that, of the stuff that I, that I inherited. So I, I am, you know, it's my inheritance. I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can for each item. Um, and he goes, and, and we started talking and, you know, he was looking through the barn and, um, he came into the shipping room and he saw, you know, the, the hold shelf for you guys and, and stuff like that. And he's like, man, you guys are like out of my league. And it was weird to hear that, you know, he's like, you guys really seem like professionals. And I'm like, yeah, this, this is not what we're doing forever, you know, but whatever you guys keep coming and you guys keep me focused. Um, because I can't just, you know, wander off and, and do something else. So, uh, I go live a lot and it helps. Oh, I'm happy to hear that Sandra. The live yesterday got me up and started working on eBay and other things that helped me get the move on. Thanks. That's why we do this. That's absolutely, I hope I, my goal is to inspire. It, it really is the, with the channel stuff. Um, originally it was just more like a, I wanted to document my journey and then, you know, people started watching who knew. So I talked about, so I'm getting on a plane next Sunday and I'm flying all the way to Washington uh, to spend the week with my BFF Noelle from Farm Girl Scavenger. Um, she's moving her business and downsizing storage units. And, uh, you know, she's, she's come out and she's helped me and pulled me out of a, a rut or lack of motivation and, you know, pay it forward kind of thing. So with that in mind that I'm leaving on Sunday, um, babes told me not to list, um, you know, high end, too much high end stuff or, or whatever that he would have to stop what he was doing and figure out shipping because he would have to go onto the computer to ship the labels and babes is not, I mean, babes is a lot of things, but he's not a computer guy. Oh, hi, Doug, Doug. Jan is a professional reseller. Yeah, whatever. I don't know about that. I've found different niches. And then Noel suggested um, when we're out there that uh, maybe we'll do her first whatnot sale and screw that up together. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll learn all about that that week. And uh, we'll be popping up live on my channel and we'll be popping up live on her channel. And that will be after Sunday. So there won't be... Um, uh, Sunday live, uh, next week, because I will probably be, huh, cause I'm leaving at like six something in the morning and then there's a time difference and I'm not, I'm getting out there at noon and yeah, I'm not, not going to do anything to my knowledge. We'll see. So anyway, babes wants me to, he's like, just list. Um, if you're going to list, you know, basically list fodder. And I'm like, okay, well, I certainly have fodder, so we can do that. So I am going to get my, uh, my chest camera here. 
because we're going to go out into the barn and kind of focused on books right now. I hope you're having a good day, Doug Doug. Doug Doug, I have a box on my shelf for you. You let me know uh, if you want to cancel it or if you want me to invoice it. I don't know if you're back selling yet. Um, but yeah, there's a, it's like a snake charmer basket thing. That's what we called it. All right, where's my phone? My phone's in my pocket. I'm not a reseller, but I like cool stuff and cool people. You're awesome, Deanna. All right, let me get... StreamYard up and going on my phone, and I will mute this. Do, 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 do. And then we'll head out into the barn. It's a little colder out there. So we'll take some breaks to warm my feet. All right. Hold on, I'm going to mute. Okay, can you guys hear me all right? There we go. Shouldn't be any squealing or anything like that. Okay, perfect. <coughs> so yesterday, during the listing live, I did, I regurgitated the office here. So let me show you how the office is looking. So I treated myself um, after our 10 hour book sale, um, this was on sale and I made just enough from the book sale to, uh, buy this sit stand thing. And I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. It is. Ex it's exactly what I wanted. So I've got, I've got it standing on this side and then I can crank it down and I can go over on this side where my chair is and have L-shaped work. I got rid of that bowing uh, table um, because every time I set something on it, it fell into the bow and then was hitting the floor. So I was breaking stuff. So I threw the table out. So yeah, so this is, this is the sit down and work side. This is the stand up and work side. This is the shipping table, shipping uh, workbench here. And Dawn's, and that's the, that's the bubble wrap thing that Babe's made for me. And then this is my hold shelf, um, for stuff that's going out, um, your, you guys stuff. This is boxes waiting, uh, to be paid for. And then there is an L shape back here that's full of all my wrapping, um, and, uh, the boxes that we have. And then I have another table back here. This is just currently, I mean, we're going to build stuff, permanent stuff. Right now we just repurpose, repurpose everything. No, we forgot to take the drill home. We didn't have a drill, Brett. So this is the old um, tourney table that, uh, that Babes had made me that I was using to sell out of Mama's house. So that is temporarily um, just down for the count and stored under there. But this is, you know, white tabletop, black tabletop, listing station. And then when I'm doing a live sale, uh, I can set everything up in there so I can stay where it's warm. So my heater is in here. The barn is not insulated. And then I got my little foot heater because it's pretty cold on the concrete floor. 
So that's the that's the tour of the office. And you know, microwave, bathroom, more shipping, more shipping stuff. But yeah, that's what's going on in here. So I am going to get my iPad, which thank goodness um, I had taken into the house. My iPad, my laptop, my backpack, so it wasn't uh, stolen out of my car. Big gulp of coffee. Oh, that's good stuff. And then we'll head out into the barn. So I've got my little, uh, I call it my go-kart that was salvaged from the garbage where I work and we fixed it and this is mostly going to be used here for Google Lens today. Oh, it's news. Okay. So, yeah. So, I want to get some... No, the toilet seat's nice and warm because the shipping room is um, is heated. And the barn is the same temperature <laughs> as the outside today. So, uh, I'm just leaving the door open for extra light. We'll close it later. I know if you guys saw the pictures that I posted on Facebook... Um, babes made big holes in the wall yesterday and put in the two uh, new windows over there. Videos are coming. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to head down this way. One thing that is relatively easy to list is books. I'd like to get some higher ones, um, some higher dollar ones. So, like, Handbook of Mathematics. This isn't a good stop to, place to stop, not enough light. So, put the lock on. See what we can find on this. Wow, somebody's got it for thirteen dollars. That's not not very good. I wonder where that is. Handbook of Mathematics. Visit. That's on Abe's Books. New ones from 62. This one's a hardcover. This one's not hardcover. Well, I think if I were to list it, I could do well on that one. I'm gonna grab my uh, index cards. So I can stick it on the book. It's one of the reasons that I love this desk. All my crap in one place. All right, got some index cards. I know that that pen is problematic. So we'll grab this pen. Ooh, another swig of coffee. Okay. And let's see. I need a place to put them. So I need an empty bin. Or a box. Hi, Pat Doodles. 
I love me some Pat Doodles. She just makes me happy. She's just such a happy person. All right. Let's put that bin right there. All right. So on this one, I'm going to go to eBay. Um, handbook of mathematics. Bronstein. T E N. Oh my goodness. Well. Usually Google gives me more interesting stuff here. So in this case, the vintage is not the one that people want. Hardcover. Hmm. Well, let's filter for sold. Best offer accepted in a few go here. Oh, that's a different one. Fifth edition. Hmm. Seriously, you heard my stomach growl? Oh my god, how embarrassing. That's terrible. Let's see. English translation. I do have food. This is nineteen eighty five. Okay, well, we're going to do uh, sell one like this. Save all that stuff. They've got it as an auction. I'm going to change it to buy it now. Oh, God. It takes more than that to embarrass me. You're good. Did I say I was embarrassed? I lied. I wasn't. Let's list this for $25. And then save for later. If anybody is interested in this book, I will sell it to you for eight. Draft made 25. $8 for the math book if anybody is interested. It's in fantastic shape. Okay, let's pick something else here. This one. Magic Casements. Carhartt and McGee. I wonder what that's about. Does it have pictures? I don't know. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's it looks like something for a brainiac. Formulas, sketches, drawings. Holy crap. That's out of my league. All right. Magic casements. So I'm going to go to Google first. Um, I'm booking it, but I'm also just kind of squirreling around just like, you know, if there's, if there's stuff that I can quick comp and grab, I want to get stuff, some, some stuff listed, but I'm also always willing to 
sell without listing. So Carhartt and McGee. East High School, Rochester, New York. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Carhartt McGee. Magic casements. Hmm. Antique poetry book. Oh, look at that. All right, so let's go to that one. And sell one like this. Poems. So, if anybody wants it, eight bucks. So it would look cool on a shelf too because it's got that leather looking whatever, but I'm going to list it for 25. 25 and best offer. I don't want auction. I want to buy it now. Price. 25. Done. Let's add a quick picture so I know what I'm pulling out of the box. But I'll do the rest of the pictures. Stop right there. I gotta know right now. Bracken's in for eight. Um, it's a poetry book. Donna Jean, St this is in pencil. Eastridge High School. Brett's in for nine, Bracken's in for 10. Uh, 1929. New York Macmillan Company. Copyright 1926. The chat just jumped. I didn't see your... see your questions. This is a cool looking book. Nice one. Uh, to it just it looks cool for a bookshelf and it's got gold on on the side and just a nice old book all right going going gone sold to Bracken thank you Bracken Different pile there. Done. Save for later. Selling. Drafts. No, thank you. And it doesn't look like it has an option to delete in here, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, let's find another cool one. Um, the Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols. Edited by Udo Becker. We're going to Google it first. Tin, tin, you, um, and 
Encyclopedia, jeez, Jan. Pedia of Symbols. Let's see. 12 bucks, 60 bucks, 11 bucks, 9 bucks. Oops. Dang, I just lost that. Um, continuum in Cyclopedia of Symbols. Aw, oh, thanks, Amy. I appreciate that very much. 17889 Holy cow. 49 All right, so what's this about? This is in beautiful condition. Pages are nice and white. This is dust. No bumps. Gold lettering on the side. This is in nice shape. It was originally $40. Copyright is $19.92. Well, what's in it? 16 color plates and more than 800 illustrations. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, those are cool. Oh, this is for nerding out too. Cool. Same thing with this one. Eight bucks, I'm gonna list it for 25. Draft. Um, that's a paperback. That one looks good. Sell one like this. Pricing, turn off the auction, buy it now, oops, 25, save for later. Got to get in the swing of things, you know? Let's pick another cool one. Where's something that's cool? Let's do something old. Okay, what are these? Here are... The World Dictionary, A through K. Oh, looks like I already looked this up. Starting at 18 for the set. Cool. Two, A through K, L through Z. is the 1970 edition for these two books. I love it when I already look them up. So I'd say 15 if you guys want it. I think I'm going to list it for 50. 1970 
World Book Dictionary Set. Oh, wow. Some people have them listed even less. Okay, so eight bucks. Eight bucks if anybody wants this set. And I will list it for 25. Come on now, where's the cell one like this? It's a dictionary set. See full description. No. Where's my button? There it is, I went too far. Why doesn't it have sell one like this on it? There it is. Sell one like this. Blah, 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 blah. Change the price. Twenty-five done. One picture. <laughs> to remember what it's for. Done. Save for later. Oh, they're gold. Gold on the edges, too. Pretty books. All right, come on, Jan. Find a good one. How about this one? know what that came out of. The Anderson Fairy Book. Illustrated by Florence Choate and Elizabeth Curtis. This looks old. Ooh. Pretty end pages. Oh, and it's got uh, color plates in it with a little tissue over it. When's this from? The Tales of Hans Andersen. 1921. Cool. Alright, let's try to find that one. The Anderson Fairy Book. Let's put the date in there. 1921. Hi, Cindy! No exact matches found. Well, that's promising. Let's go to Google. The Anderson Fairy Book. 1921. Okay. First fairy tales. 1921. So there's Anderson Fairy Book. So Abe has it listed. And that one's red. For 82. Two used from 75. The Anderson Fairy Book. I don't know why it's red. And it's got 
um, a different cover on it. It's got Hansel and Gretel. This has, I don't know, somebody else. Um, publisher's Orange Cloth Binding. eBay, the Anderson Fairy Book, 1921, Hans, it doesn't say Christian in this one, it just says Hans Anderson. Tales of Hans. Nope, oh, there's one. Oh, that's sad. Nine dollars. Well, they don't know what they have. It's a hundred year old book. It's an antique. You guys are just silly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Dana. Let's let's list it for I don't know eighty five, and I don't want to do a sell similar there because they've got it in the wrong um, antique Hans Anderson. Eighteen ninety three. Okay, let's do that one. See if they've got it in a better category. Fairy tales and fantasy. Oh, good. Antique, antiquarian, and collectible. That's what I wanted to see. So I'm going to change the pricing to buy it now. I'm going to list it for 85 nope, $85 or best offer. If anybody here wants it, um, I would start it at 25 here. So I'm going to do done. Done. Highlight the age. Barb's in for twenty two fifty. I'll start it at twenty two fifty. I'm okay with that. She's always got to get her fifty cents. That Barb, that ninja Barb. Anybody for my asking price of twenty five? It is totally your way of saying hello. All right, I don't see anybody else. Going, going, gone for Barb. Thank you, Miss Barb. I have a million books to sell. Let's see, let's find another good one. What's this about? Arts and Ideas, William Fleming. Oh, Dana's in at 25.
I'll take that extra 250. What do you say, Barb? Want to go higher? Money talks, Miss Barb. And I get to make the rules. I found something for you, by the way, Miss Dana. While Barb's deciding. <laughs> that was lag, Barb. Cut me a break. I need money. Where are they? I got these going in your box, Miss Dana. Snow White helps the Seven Dwarfs, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Snow White and the Messy Dwarfs. What do you say, Barb? 26? <laughs> sold to Dana then I'm sure I have more thank you Dana I appreciate it very much I will go slower on these older books let's see what we got here arts and ideas William Fleming arts ideas William Fleming These are not vintage. This is vintage. Third edition. Let's see a copyright. Google Arts Ideas William Fleming Third Edition. Oh, wow! Cheap, cheap, cheap. Now, see, why is that one a hundred hundred dollars? One on eBay for $28.99. And it's got a dust cover. 1972. Hi, Nance. So apparently this is 1972. Oh, this is definitely an art book. Nice. Lots of pages. 580. So if anybody wants it, I'll start it at 8. Otherwise, I'm going to list it at 25. Let's see. Sell one like this. Jan, look inside. Black and white or color images make the price difference. I hear a cricket. But if I list them for 25 <coughs> and I put them, uh, put my store on sale or something, then, you know, they go down. But I also leave it open for offers. 25. 
Yeah, yeah. That's you guys taught me that way long ago. We'll do a quick picture. From the draft. Done. Save for later. Now, I should be able to, to list these quickly, right? I hope. And then it's just a matter of finding... Oh, I see. Okay, I'll make sure I'm specific there then. Let's see. Come on. Let's find something cool. Do, 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 do. All right. What are these guys about? I remember finding... Whoops. Man down. I remember finding these in Mama's closet. And I don't think I comped them. It's like... Uh, Four minute essays. Four minute essays. Are they all the same? No, they're volumes. Dr. Frank Crean. Copyright 1919. Okay, we'll go to Google for that. Four minute essays. Frank Crean, 1919. What do we got? Um, got some people doing one volume at a time. Volume one on Amazon. For twenty dollars. Four minute essays, volume one. Ten dollars. Volume seven is nineteen dollars. Ten volume set. A hundred bucks. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that sounds good to me. Theodore Roosevelt. These are cool. These would look cool on somebody's um, shelf. So, four minute essays. Complete set of ten. First edition, hundred bucks. Well, these are green ones. I'm guessing that they had dust covers at one point. They've got it for 189. That's interesting. Let's go to sold. Sort highest. Probably more money individual. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to end up with cast offs. So we'll do sell one like this. Uh, 
I'll take a picture for the draft. I think I'm going to list them for a hundred. But if anybody wants them here, I'll start them at 40. Done. Um, pricing, buy it now. Price, 100, done, save for later. These shouldn't be hard to list. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here. I got all kinds of... Um, how about this one? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Grimm's Fairy Tales. M-C-M-L-I-V. Grimm's Fairy Tales, Etsy, eBay. Wow, that's low. That surprises me. Oh, well, there's 1954. Thank you, Maggie. Grim Fairy Tales, nineteen fifty four. Wow, look at that. That's low. Nineteen fifty four Junior Deluxe Edition Hardcover. Junior Deluxe Edition hardcover, 15 bucks. All right, well, I'll list it for 25. Anybody here wants it? Start it at eight. That surprises me. A lot, a lot. Pricing. There have been so many issues of Grimm's over the decades. The older the book, the more it tends to be, especially as the oldest ones are before they cleaned them up and made them less violent. There's people that like the like the morbid violent, you know, that they, they just want to collect it. Twenty-five done. Dana is in at eight. Stop where I am. I will wait for a minute. Oh, there's a whole series of that one, huh? Anyone want it for nine? I'm trying to write lightly. I don't like to press through. I'll give you guys a second to think about it. I get out of here.
don't see anybody else. So we will call it for Dana. Going once, going twice. Sold to Dana. Thank you, Dana. Oh, okay. We need to, we need to warm up for a second. I'm going to carry Whoa, this bin in to the shipping room. Yeah, I think the temperature is dropping a lot. Grim wrote Snow White. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, God, that warmth feels good. All right, I'm going to burr. out there. The covers with different figures. Had those when I was little. Apparently so did I. Because those are definitely from Mama's house. Get that little tow heater going. Hi Mike. Present my other screen. Hi, Kath. What's going on there? Why is that blinking like that? That's weird. Oh, it's not blinking. That was very weird. All right, let's go into the drafts. And we'll delete that one. And we'll delete that one. And was it magic casements? Yep. Like that one. Okay. So yeah, these are the drafts that I made for those um those wood sculptures. Babes doesn't want me to list them this week. So I'll list them when I get back. And then this was a draft that I started because I was looking through paperback books. Now I stole this picture from somebody else's auction, but he did, uh, he did this big lot, 1960s, 1970s, uh, paperback books, and they all had red edges and this went for $135. So I have started a box here on my bottom shelf of red, red books. See? Red books that are not, I mean, this one, this one could, I could probably get 10 bucks for, but I mean, you got to put something good in there. And this is actually a really good book. I'm okay. You're okay. Um, whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Whoops. That works. Um, yeah, I'm okay. You're okay. That's a good book. But I'm I'm making a I'm making a red book lot. A 
of paperbacks. All right, so let's put this back. And resume draft. Ooh, my toes are warming up fast. What does under the hood problems mean? Um, so it's either it's either engine or transmission. Um, I'll show you what it's uh, still on the wrong screen. Yeah. So this is here's the video I took of the car from the tow place. Can you hear? I can't you hear. Maybe it's muted. It's muted. Is that close enough? Hold on. I need to get the other keys off of this though. Yeah, no idea. So it's not drivable. Did you, Mike? Was it a good book? Should I read it before I get rid of it? Yeah, uh, Pat Doodles has actually talk, talked about that because she's done uh, some craft projects on her channel with those red page books. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's wrong with the car. So I have to... It, it could be just like a vacuum hose or something like that. Um, or it could be that they rammed on it so hard that they blew something major. So um, does insurance cover it? Oh, well, I don't, I don't know. So the insurance company doesn't have a partnership um, with the Honda dealer. Um, in this area. So costs could, you know, the insurance company has a maximum that they're willing to pay depending on the repair and stuff. So it, it'll get to a point where I have to decide if I'm willing to pay the difference. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they could total it. It depends on it depends on, on, on what's wrong with it, but it sounds, it sounds pretty major. So very major. Where's my coffee? There we go. Yeah. And, um, we had a car stolen in St. Louis. They tore up the steering column and the transmission. They left my Dodger jacket in the trunk, but stole our dirty laundry. Jeez, Terry. They took everything out of the car. Um, and I, and I'm still, I'm still like remembering stuff that was in there. Um, they did leave, uh, a set of, a set of keys that I had in the car that is actually work related. It's like different, different buildings and, and carts and, and stuff like that. Yeah. I really hope not Brett. Cause I mean, I just got it in February. So if they total it, I doubt very highly that I will get, um, what's due on the loan. So I will end up upside down on the loan as a result. So Gotta figure all that out and uh it is what it is, right? Just just gotta keep moving. Gotta keep doing what you can. One step forward, one step back. Blah blah blah. I am driving a uh it looks like they took an SUV and smushed it. It's it's a Ford Eco, Eco Sport, Ford Eco Sport. All right, 
Let me get the screen back up here. All right, Handbook of Mathematics. These ones inside. I'm just getting that in bracket. Dina's box, I still need to pack up, so that's perfect. If they have the keys to your properties, you may want to change the locks since they could get your address. So um, the locks on our house are digital. They're coded locks. So did they catch them? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, they did have leads, though. I had to total my Corolla in April and got $7,000 more than paid five years ago. That's kind of... Okay, bye, Nance. <clears throat> That's kind of what I'm hoping, Marilyn, because when I totaled, uh, when I totaled my, my CRV on Valentine's Day last year, um, I was shocked at, at how much... I mean, I thought that they were going to give me like... 1500 bucks and send me on my way. It, it was a 2010 with like 225,000 miles. And they did end up giving me, I think it was like $4,000 for it, four or $5,000 for it. I was shocked. Of course, I, I put that as a, as a deposit on the, on the new car. You talked to me before then I had a situation, a semi semi squish me in my new car into a cement median on the interstate. Oh my God. Hope you have gap insurance. If, it, if gap was an automatic thing, um, then I have it. It wasn't something that I asked for. So we just keep working it through, right? Do the best we can. Okay. So let's list this guy. Taking a, a little wipe. There's like a little dirt smudge uh, on the cover. And then there's a little dirt smudge on the back, so I'm just going to wipe that off. It's going to work out. I just know it is. It, you know, usually bad things can turn out to be a blessing in disguise, you know, and I just, I have to think that way. I have to, I have to think that my car was stolen that night because if I had left in the morning, I would have uh, wrapped myself around a tree and been been dead or something like that. I, I I don't know. I just I have to. I have to keep my head up. But I will say that when things like this happen, it it does. It just it nicks away at my vision of humanity all the time. It it just. We'll be out here eventually and, you know, but won't be as exposed to people. I am already just very at ease and at home on this property. You still have insurance on this one. Don't need gap yet. I missed the whole story. Where did they take it from? Um, they stole my car from my driveway, uh, Tuesday night. Yeah, it was, it was Tuesday night. I, I just, it never occurred to me. You know what I mean? I got like the, the bump, the high end warranty, um, when I bought the car. So make sure you don't accept first offer. 
and you use the word lawyer in your response. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching that um, Acre Homestead, Becky Acre Homestead, and uh, she just did a video, uh, posted a video yesterday, the day before, and she said that there's an egg shortage in her area. She's in she's in Washington uh, near Noel, and um, they they said it's prices are crazy and and there literally was only two uh packs of eggs left in the store and we got our vehicles we got gap insurance also it usually costs more but sometimes worth it i don't, I don't know if i did it i don't know all right give me Give me a, a second for a bio break and I will be right back. I'm muting you. I don't, uh, the worst part of it was the stuff that's in it. You know, that that's really the worst part of it for me. Cause I, I live out of my car and you know, there's paperwork that was in there. Um, my, my coffee bucket was in there. Um, like $800 worth of duck work, uh, that we had just purchased, um, was in there. And I mean, it, some of it is, is financially replaceable, but I have a pretty significant deductible on my homeowner's insurance. So my homeowner's insurance would have to be responsible for the contents of the car unless it was um, like, like uh, the auto insurance company will cover like car jack, spare tire, uh, which I didn't even look under there, uh, to be honest when I saw the car, um, a car seat, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, the, a whole bunch of work stuff was in it. Um, computers and tablets and credit card readers and, and stuff like that. And I haven't heard anything from work on as to whether I'm responsible, um, to, to reimburse that or whatnot, because, I mean, they do pay mileage, so they know that we use our car for our job. So I'm hoping that that doesn't fall into, into anything, but you know, what's that, uh, that Elton John song? I'm still standing. It's even, even better. That song makes, makes me happy when I think about the, the gorilla in the, in the Disney movie sing when he's, he's doing, I'm still standing, you know, it, it takes me more than, it takes more than that to knock me down. It's just, man, you're just cheeking away at my armor here. The world, the world is. My, um, my purse was in there. Um, so I had to close all my bank accounts and change them all. And I'm still changing things over. Check and see if they post stuff online using pictures, using your devices. <coughs> My car was unlocked and the keys were in it. 
I accidentally left them on the seat. So there's that. The computer should have Find My Device on them. Uh, that's only Apple products, to my knowledge. And there were no Apple products in the car. Yeah, I know. Um, let's see. If I go to Facebook Marketplace. Upwork. So Duckwork, HVAC, various pieces. Um, that, that certainly looks like our box of crap. HVAC register box, heat ducts, brand new. Um, this this was in our box. I mean, the, these these things are are far away. This is lions. The other one's close to buffalo. That's not what we had. It's it's more like so we had. We had six of these um, in the car, and you know they were they were in a box. But I think, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just I can't deal with it. You know, just the the idea of whatever. Yeah, can't can't. Can't do it. So, moving on. All right. Notify cops. I could do that, I guess. I could email him. I have his email. All right. Handbook of Mathematics. Let's get these pictures in here. In this auction, complete your listing. All right, so let's Handbook of Mathematics, fifth edition. I don't think that this is fifth edition. English translation. Third edition. So we'll change that. edition by all those people. Grunstein, Semendeev. I don't see those other two names in here. We said this was nineteen 
It's 1989. It's based on German edition. saying it's a hi Tony Patano how are you honey I'm so glad that you know you guys I I had already mailed I had already mailed stuff out thank God the day before but there was there was some eBay packages um, in the car so I had to refund those. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. ISBN doesn't match. I'll remove it then. Publication. Yeah. Nobody's dead. Nobody's hurt. That's what matters, right? Hi, Simmy. I wouldn't, I am hurt inside, but it's more just, I'm just so disappointed in people. leather bound flexi bound what's flexi bound simmy did you break your back is that what happened Sandra, I am an IT field engineer for a medical university. So that's why there was so much computer equipment in my car. You did break your back? Oh, honey. What did I, did, how did I miss that? What happened? Eight inches. Six inches, two and a quarter inches. Um, T6 compact fracture. How did that happen? That is so long. Two and a quarter. Wait. Uh, thanks, Sandra. You know I'm going out there, right? Got to keep an eye peeled for our shenanigans. I don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. Two pounds, thirteen ounces.
calculator. Custom bundle, no number of pages, 1164. Yes, I did. I do remember that. That's why I was. Yeah. Oh, so you can't remember falling in break. So it. So is it like an old, older injury that you discovered? Nine hundred and seventy-three pages. That's not even close. What the? Oh, because they were doing a different edition. That's why. Nine seventy-three. I don't think there's an ISBN. Yeah, I guess that is true. Ah, Simmy, no falling. Falling is not allowed. Handbook of Mathematics, third revised edition. There is a newer edition that is $133. Well, math doesn't change. Photos for condition like new. All right now, twenty five dollars minimum offer. We'll just say ten. Package weight. Is going to be probably three pounds, five ounces, and probably go in a mailer <coughs> with some cardboard. Let's add some cardboard. Let's make sure. 
A couple pieces of cardboard on the scale. That's appropriate. Package dimensions is going to be in a poly mower. Um, and probably be ten. Just say 10 by 12. 10 by 12. Okay, immediately. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Calculated shipping. I see the publishing year. I saw the publishing year, 1897. Stringer, is that right? It's not right. It seems like there is just, other than just uh, reminding yourself what you're listing, I find no. Helpful anything from doing sell somewhere. So we're saying that this is a textbook, reference book, okay. Store category is vintage books. And save for later. Oh, uh, see, very good for being an advocate for yourself. Good girl. Because I tell you, I'll tell you what, not everybody would do that. I'll tell you right now, babes wouldn't. And we just need pictures. Grabs. 
Alright, got a shadow there. No shadow. And I got dust in my background. Let's do it this way. Picture, picture. Get your dirty nails out of that picture, Missy. You can, I can certainly get you started, Miss Tony. In layman's. Listing for dummies with Jan. be happy to help you. Background removed. No, I don't I don't like that. That's everybody else's way. I do things my way. You feel me? Because I'm stubborn like that. I do what I want. Okay, save that. Hi, Muriel. Hi, Jeannie. You suck at taking pictures, Dana? No. You just gotta, just gotta take them. Don't stress about it. Don't compare yourself to other people. And you'll improve as you go. That's the worst thing you can do is compare yourself to other people. Just do it your way. And the people that matter will applaud you. I mean, look at that crazy picture. What What are you doing, Jan? Is it floating? Is it? What are you trying to show us here? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I took a picture. Done. My pictures rock. Look, you can you can put it on a podium if you want. Got a little shadow there in the background. I'm so cool. Yeah, we got some, I don't know, tabletop there. Looks like they're taken in a dungeon. They are taken in a dungeon.
Oh, got to get that dirty fingernail out of there. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to rethink because I put a, a top over this shelf and it cut out my thought for being able to put better lighting in there, but I think these are good enough. All right. Um, handbook of Mathematics, third edition, based on... Translated from... German's not going to fit. Uh, 973 pages. Maybe we could put that in the title. Um, anything else looks good? It takes me forever to list, to, to like get started. And then once I get started, um, I do better. So list it. List it. All right. Look at what I did. <laughs> Jan listed something for the first time in like, I don't know, really long time. No, I did. I listed a plush or something, didn't I? Last time. I'm going to take this bag. And put the book in the bag to protect it. And take a little twisty tie. Done. Hi, Denise. I find books hard to take pictures of, also. Yeah, I. You need. <coughs> You really need the, the light box. You know, it, it takes a while, I think, um, to really uh, be comfortable with all the different angles of where you take pictures from. And I still haven't figured it out completely for in here um, because I've got this main light here. But if, if I add a little spotlight to this little nook that I've got... So this is, this is the little nook right next to my desk that I made. So it is kind of a dungeon, but maybe, maybe if I'm, I really want the wireless printer or the wire, the printer there for shipping, but maybe if I put a little light right here, it would probably be perfect. So I will. Yeah. Light boxes too. symbol book and let me see if I can find a little light you know what I could do flashlight which I could that super powerful um, flashlight Oh, wow, it got cold out here. Holy crap. So if I could move this a little and maybe just hang it there. 
Mm, that's not the right lighting. And the flashlight is very cold, so it should stay in here. I could try them on the table behind me this time, I guess. All right, let's take a look at the book. Check it out. This is in beautiful shape. Nobody's ever read it. Originally $40. Just taking a light wipe to the outside. That's a nice looking book right there. Yes, it is. So the next one I'm going to list, the Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols. Oh, this one has a, a click it thing. A, a, do, a doohickey. Where's my phone? What did I do with it? Jan, you're losing it. Oh, there it is. Uh, search picture. Put your camera at the barcode. See, I don't even feel like... Let's see if this is the one. Good girl, Sue. The Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols. It says use, but I mean, it really looks new. I don't want a stock photo as the main photo, but we'll get back to that. So we're going to take that out. Hard cover like new. Type. Author. Lance W. Gardner. What? Where'd you get that from? That's not the author. All right, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my own thing here because I got the book in front of me. I know I want to list it for twenty five dollars. I'm gonna delete the draft and I am going to create a listing from scratch. I can. The Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols. Do, 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 do. Find a match. Uh, it's not in there. Continue without a match. Select the condition, like new. Bye, Simi. See you later. The Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols.
by Udo, Udo Becker. Hard cover. This is a definitive compendium of symbols and their deeper meanings in individual human psychology and civilization. Tracing symbols to their cultural, religious, or mythical origins. Let's see. 1500 entries. Books and magazines. Store category vintage books. Author is Udo Becker. Book title. The Continuum Encyclopedia of Symbols. I will get better at this. I will get better to the point where I'm using my own drafts and my own copy-paste stuff. I need my rhythm. I've been waiting for this rhythm forever. ISBN is 0 8264 0644 0. Where'd my. Well, what are you talking about? Maybe I'm not supposed to put the dashes in. Zero. Eight two six four. O six four four. Zero. Yep. Now, why does it? So that's where the problem is. By Lance W. Garmer. That's not who this is by. It's translated by Lance Garmer. Hmm. And this says it's English. Totally different year, 500, uh, forget it. I don't want anything to do with your ISBN number because you're wrong. You're so wrong. Blech. Symbols. Totally wrong. Book series, nope. Format. Hardcover. Publisher. Continuum New York? What? No? Yep. Continuum. C O N T I N V U M. Continuum. Genre. Uh, reference? No. Genre would be. Uh, thought provoking because it's not like it's 
fact, it's somebody's opinion. I don't know what the genre is. Publication year. Well, we've talked about this a couple of times, haven't we? Publication is 1997. Variations, condition, like new. Like new. Can you make a space inside your house to take the pictures? Oh, I'm not dragging everything out there. I want everything in here. I want to be able to twirl like this and do everything start to finish. Find it. Clean it up. Weigh it. Wash it. Measure it. Comp it. Pack it. Ship it. Like new, oh, you're talking to Dana. Ha! I knew that. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, like new dust jacket. Shows shelf where we're going to take our title and we're going to put it in our description. <laughs> Good data. <laughs> Good. Continuum Encyclopedia. How many times am I going to freaking type this? Symbols. Google Fecker. Oh, yes. Google Books. Tell me all about it. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. This also looks good. We'll add a little bit of that. And see photos for condition. And I think that's it. That's enough. That's enough now. 25. Want to be one. Minimum offer. $10. Calculated shipping. Package weight. Oops. Let's see. That's gonna have to go in a in a 10 by So we're going to say 10 by 10 by 8 mailer. Two pounds, two ounces, all by its lonesome. So we're going to say two pounds, 
eight ounces with cardboard and mailer package dimensions. It's probably going to go in a 10 by 12. Immediately, that's where I am. Uh, save for later because I didn't do the pictures. You got to do the pictures, Jan. I'm hoping to get to a point where I've like, I don't know if I'll ever do the mass quantity thing. Hey, the window's open in here. Windows open, dummy. That's because Babes was in here. Pee wee. All right. Oh. You can't get a ditch, Doug. Are we trying to hardwire? Look at you guys. Inspiring Miss Dana. Making her think outside the box. That's genius. All right. eBay. Home. Selling. Drafts. Plus. Plus pictures. All right. This is probably better lighting. Still got a little bit of a shadow there. That's better. That's even more gooder. So this direction is better lighting. Doesn't look like it's in a dungeon. Still kind of close to the Oh, you can do up to 24 page, 24 photos now? You didn't know that. Or did I? Uploading, uploading. 
we use one in the pole barn to play stereo. We have a battery powered motion sensor. LED lights out there. So Jan, don't you guys have any of those clamp lights or trouble lights? I don't I don't know that I know what that is. What is a clamp light? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Workbench lights? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I just don't, I don't want to start banging around uh right now. I will do it later. Definitely. I definitely want to have something that I can just pull over like this. <clears throat> and in fact, I have my awesome uh, work lamp at home for my sewing room. Yeah, go feed yourself, Miss Tony. All right. Refresh. Resume. We'll stick one. You can move around in there. Yep, I'm going to stick it right on the side of this for pictures. All right, main photo. That looks not like a dungeon. Still want to crop it a little bit. It's not dirt on the table. It's like chips because it's like, you know, that cheap Formica or whatever. Done with that one. Shadow out of this one. Shadow out of this one. Save done. That shows what I want to show. Leave that one alone. Oh, yeah, we want to crop this one. Crop. Crop. That's nice. That looks very nice, Jan. You did a very nice job. Yes, you did. That looks lovely. Just lovely. Uh, no dirty nails, Jan. Nope, nope, nope. Clip them. Clip them right there. Dirty nails are bad. Oh, look how pretty those dirty nails look on display there. There we go. Yeah, now you see it. No, you don't. Save. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. That one looks nice. Okay, here's all our pictures. Uh... Our title looks good. We're going to add both of those names to this here. Lance W. Garmer. Lance W. Garmer. Add that. English. ISBN, we don't want anything to do with the ISBN because it's wrong, totally wrong. Two pounds, 12 by 10. 
blah, blah, blah. List it. Book is listed. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. Bag. something silly goose I listed a book awesome. aren't you proud he's like hmm. look at you you're all sawdusty I'm all dirty come come show them how dirty you are okay, I just came out with hugs and kisses okay hold on you want to steal my heat mm -hmm. show them how dirty you are look how dirty he is yep I got messy He's working hard out there. Okay. You miss me? Mm -hmm. Is it warm in there? No. It's not? No, but it's nice out here. Yeah. Oh, you can have some. Sure. I'm going to eat soup. I'm you have? Sure. Just not filling. There you go. Eat some of that, baby. It's got meat in it. Meat. I love meat. And pasta, it expands in your tummy and it sticks to the walls. Mm. How's your finger? Hurts. Does it? Mm -hmm. Is it black and blue? Ooh. Listed, babes. Listed. I lost the other one that I listed. Oh, here it is. Oh. Done. Visit with babes. Oh, now they want to watch me eat. No, they're not watching you eat. Babe, you see that thing right there over my head? Yeah. Yeah, is there any way we can... Yeah. I have to, like, stand right here to block it. All right, what's next? This one. Books. These are antique books. Throwing the leaves out? I've thrown the leaves out. Do you want them? No. I mean, that's not a real thing, right? Well, I don't know. Then yeah, I better look it up. My those, inner. Those are pretty big. My inner Noel tells me to look it up. I would be shocked. Dried pressed leaves. Yeah, they saw them when I pulled the book out. Holy crap. What? Oh, no, these are totally different. These things are huge. I know they're huge. I'm looking. I think they're kind of cool. Here, you can show them. You said they already saw. No, they. It's different day. I what? gotta. Different day. Look at that. What? Twenty dried and pressed. And them are tiny. These are fifty-year-old leaves, babes. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea how old these are. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Put it right up next to your head. See that? That's big. That's big, and that's not even the big one. Yeah. I don't. I sold gum wrappers for 40 bucks. Yeah. You're right. Babes, do you know what you just did? Oh. You pulled something out of the garbage. That's. Oh, that, that's each. Yeah. Wow. That doesn't mean they're selling for that, though, yeah. right? And like I said, those are small. These are. Let's go to sold. These are freaking huge. No way. What do you guys think? Think that'll really happen? Never know. Well, I guess some places don't get um, fall. Yeah, you, you board and bat them or whatever you call it. or Bag and board. Bag and board. Bag and board. Okay, 50 pieces. Ouch. You okay? Yep. You're thinking you tricked me. 
No, that was for twenty. So they did eight dollars for twenty. Oh. But I don't. Christmas. Twelve pressed dried Japanese maple leaves. Noel would be so proud of me if I listed this. I don't know what kind of leaves they are. What kind of leaves are they? Big. Big. Babe says big. And brown. Big and brown. Big brown leaves. Eight bucks. Huh. Let's do it, babes. You want to do it? Go ahead. Let's Go ahead. do it. Okay. We're going to sell one like this. This is crazy. This is just nutty. 20 dried and pressed real Virginia creeper leaves. We're going to say. Ask, ask everybody what kind of leaves they like. I say they're like big maple leaves. These have to be maple. But they, yeah. some of them have some holes in them. But these have been. That adds character. <laughs> Sounds like me talking to you the other day. Chicks dig scars, babes. Uh huh. Maple leaves. And the chat says one looks like a maple. They're 50 years old. Ask your friend that went to school for dirt and plants. <laughs> Google lens it. You are so right. And then this one. I can't believe we're going to list leaves. Dude, if we sell these four leaves for 20 bucks, I, I can retire. You really? <laughs> you can take me to Longhorns. Babe. I could totally hundred. retire. We bought yeah. five acres of freaking leaves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got a point there. Yeah. Second one is a white oak. Whoa. That looks like oak maple. Okay. Maybe. Said. I can't believe we're listing leaves. You guys are. Second one is a white oak. You guys are an amazing influence. Nut jobs. Mm -hmm. Who did this? You well, did this. You I'm started gonna, this. I'm going to eat all this on you. Don't eat it all. Leave me a couple bites, please. Two bites. I didn't bring anything else. Right. You got soup. Soup. I'm a grown boy. I need meat. Let me make you. All right. No. That'll hold me over. Okay, so. It says maple leaf. What is it about the maple leaf anyway? Wow, there's a there's something called a maple leaf festival. Did you know that? Papers, when are you going to bring your guitar in sick here? Second one, leaf. Or home, this looks so. I'm going to have a second one. Okay. We're going to do it. Vintage. We're going to, whoops. I'm typing the wrong thing here. We're going to call it. Vintage dried maple leaves, dried pressed large maple leaf leaves from a leaf leaves from scrapbook. Maple? What do you think? What they think the other one? Wait, you're listing too cheap. 
Okay, I'll do it for 40. This <laughs> Oh, come on. Why not? You, they I could, picked them out of the trash. He did pick them out of the trash, but I sold bubblegum wrappers for 40 bucks. You did? I did. Serious on the Google Lens. Okay, let me do the Google Lens on the other leaf. Second one is a white oak. Oops. So it comes up northern red oak, black oak, white oak. I'm just going to say oak. Noelle. Noelle, you need to go back. You this is this whole segment is totally inspired by you right now. Do you see what Babes just did? Babes just pulled these out of the garbage can and he's and these guys have convinced me to list them. Maple oak and if they sell for forty dollars store category category vintage books no then i'm gonna retire because we got some woods we got some woods lady you would totally do this right Flower. well i remember there, somebody brought it up in a comment before about sending leaves and stuff um, it was probably Noelle when she did the live, no, no. the live on, uh, you know, I picked these and I sold uh, them and maybe it was her, but I kind of thought somebody else said it in the comments, you know, that people actually buy leaves. Item condition. They're used. <laughs> <coughs> Pressed. Condition description. Um, I, I, I don't know. I said they're good. Yeah. No, I did pine cones. <sighs> Pressed for 40 plus years. Condition description is flat. Don't they mean like good, fair, or bad? Or I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I, I love you. I gotta go throw some wood on the fire. Okay, go throw some wood on the fire. Mm -hmm. I love you. Bye, everybody. Bye, babers. We gotta bring his guitar. Got over here too, so. We gotta bring his we guitar. Got, got three, um, three big ones, and then that one. Three big ones. Yes. Bring his guitar in here because then it would be easier to say, Hey, babe. I got a song about the guy that stole your car. You do? But you probably don't want me to sing that. No, get. Okay. Go on. Go got on now, four get. Words in it. Go on now, get. <laughs> okay. How do we want to describe this? Um, Beautifully pressed and preserved inside a scrapbook are these three large maple leaves and oak leaf. Dried, pressed, used for junk journaling. How, what do we even say? They're leaves. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. There is an app that will tell you exactly what leaf it is. Yes, I have the app. We did Google Lens it. The, we're really just entertaining ourselves. 
I had it was sitting in the garbage. Price. 40 bucks. Whatever. Minimum offer. Um 10. Package weight. Ah, for framed art decoupage. You guys are good. Use for junk journaling, framed art, decoupage, <laughs> preservatives. <laughs> Forty bucks minimum offer ten. Package weight is next to nothing, so I'm probably going to put them on a board, like a comic book type thing. But yeah, so they're like. So nothing at all. So if I add these boards, I think I would, it would be under a pound. So let's say mm, 14 ounces. No. Yes. 14 ounces. And by 12 mailer. Oh, good, good one, Noelle. Sourced from upstate New York. Would you bubble wrap the leaves for shipping? No, I would, um, I would saran, I would do saran wrap. I still have to take pictures, so. Save for later.
pictures. Something I was expecting to do today. But why not? Ugh, I just took all those with my phone instead of in the auction. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do in a while. Is it? Oh, that's recently viewed. That's not drafts. Upload. List it as a buy leaves, get a book free. Ooh. Or I could just put the book, put a book in there. Ooh, pardon me. It's uploading. Done. Resume. Hmm. Oh, so Noel, here's a question. I just realized I did this. So I used my merch ruler in the picture. Would that, will that get taken down? Do you think? I mean, you have to really zoom in to see it. Pardon me. Ooh. them in a hanging file folder in your file cabinet for storage in your SKU line say file cabinet top drawer file a that'll be my first listed item to go in the file cabinet noel love it i'm going to uh board them up <coughs> before they get put away Preview. Where, where'd it go? Hello? Where's my preview? Hello? Thank you. This makes me laugh. This will be the next thing I talk about forever and ever, you guys. Oh yeah, I have my I have the uh exacto mat. This if that one sells, this one is gonna outdo the bazooka gum wrappers. That's all I that's all I can say. And you guys saw 
Babes took him out of the garbage. Babes. Unthrew away something. Is that a word? Unthrew? Unthrew away? Send me a link. Oh, she wants to yell at me personally. Damn it. Copy. Come fly. Come fly away with me. Come fly away. Come fly away. Oh, it's sail. Damn it. <sighs> sail away with me. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we got here? Do we have more? Oh, we got the ten, the ten set books. Yeah, in the art book. I sent you a link. Instagram. Insta, Insta, Instagram. Unless you want it. Facebook Messenger. I could do it Facebook Messenger too. Burr. Come sail away. Come sail away. With me. Okay, so we're going to do these itty bitty. Okay, four minute essays. Dr. Frank Kane. These are it's a 10 volume set from 919. So we're going to resume draft. Right here. All right. Um, ten four minute essays by Dr. Frank Crane. First edition. Ah. Well, they're not boxed, and I don't know if they're first edition. So we're going to take that off. Antique. Book. Ten four minute essays. It's nineteen nineteen. I like that better for a title. Oh, we got a little room. Uh, seven characters complete. Oh. Um. Shit, I don't know. We'll leave it. Okay, sets publisher. Let's see if this is true. William H. Wise and Company. Nailed it. Author, Frank Crane. Binding, hardcover, special attributes. I don't know if this is a first edition. I don't, I don't know. Subject, children's? The human heart, the practical man, the road to thankfulness. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know if it's children's. I just have to do a little more research here. Um, four minute 
essays. Amazon Abe. What you got to say, Mr. Abe? What are they about? Well, Abe's not going to help. Goodreads. There we go. Give me some info. Over 30 penetrating essays on various subjects such as the price of liberty, pragmatism, how to live 100 years, child's play a crime, duty of the rich, the greatest enemy, temper of solitude, the civilizers, how to keep friends. This is an interesting. Hmm. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm telling you. What? I am wiped out. Are you? I don't do well with children in my house anymore <laughs> we're a little older noelle dren's not really i don't consider him a child <laughs> the essay on being kind changed my life they must have seen my video on that <laughs> interesting reviews on this stuff what are you looking at I'm looking at this thing I'm trying to list right now. They are. So let me go back. So Dr. Frank Crane, four minute essays. It's a 10 volume set. A lot of people broke them up and tried to and sold them individually. This is actually a set, so I'm going to list it for like I don't know, 100 bucks. There you go. Just put best offer on it and take right. somebody. But I was I was offer. interested to see what. So what? that's what I, is it on a is that a books? What are you on? You're on Amazon. Amazon. Uh, I'm just I'm is, reading is the thing on a books. No, Abe's just had, you know, like the wise, quick, thought-provoking little essays that seem to reach people at just the right place in just the right minute of their lives and continue to do so every day. The internet is full of stories of people describing how Dr. Crane has changed their lives, often when they picked up one of his essay books without even knowing what it was. Interesting. Here, I got some jokes. <clears throat> I got this book at a, an estate sale yesterday. I got it from my son. Apparently, he wasn't amused. It's called Very Bat Jokes. It says, do not remove from Mr. Gates' room. What kind of college degree do they give a bat? I don't know. A battler of arts or a battler of science from night school only. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in agreement with your offspring at this point. He, that's the kind of jokes he's always telling people all the time. <laughs> Shit, I mean, stuff like, Ooh. oh, so the new the new eBay rules are no cussing or anything in the first eight minutes of your videos. <laughs> or the new YouTube rules. Oh. Watched a whole video on it. Is that right? People are getting demonetized, all, and they're going all the way back in their archives. So if there's anything... In the first, I would say, 20 seconds of any videos that has any kind of cussing in it, they're getting demonetized. Every video that they have that has anything like that, they put out this. I'm just kind of like, 
good that's good because there's a lot of people that do a lot of cussing and a lot of other stuff i should i should forward that to you so that you can listen to it it's pretty interesting it's only like eight minutes hmm. it's a good uh listen in the car kind of thing you know because you don't have to watch anything you may be deceived if you trust too much but you will live in torment if you do not trust enough i disagree that's apparently what this guy wrote these books for. Is well, to, is I don't the, know what he was smoking. They're <laughs> conversation pieces to start debate. Oh, there you go. There you go. So I also, Jan, have a book. Using light insights to promote thought. That has leads in it. Friendly debate around the dinner table that's what i'm gonna write what you got there i got a book yesterday you got a ten dollar ten dollar maple leaf 365 bedtime stories from um nursery rhymes excuse me from whitman publishing it was a teacher. This teacher had all of these books. It's uh, seen better days. It's from 1940 and it's got a bunch of leaves in it. Hmm. You name it. It's got them. Have you ever listed pressed leaves before? Nope. But lots of people do. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Ooh, you Wikipedia. Wikipedia will be full of juicy morsels about this guy. Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Frank there Green. Timeless wisdom. Holy moly. I wonder if she didn't like this book. She used it for pressing. Um, One of the most admired writers of the early 20th century. Dr. Crane published a series of columns on moral issues. Hi, Connie. How are you? That are as important today as they were then. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now, these are going in my garbage can. What are? These leaves. Why? Because I don't have time to deal with them. And if you don't <laughs> think that we don't have leaves here, you're wrong. I know. <laughs> yep. Pressed leaves sell very well. Any kind of... Somebody I know did a couple of different videos on that kind of stuff. I know. That's what we were talking about. And then it's like your ears were ringing. You just appeared. I may or may not have gotten a call to action. I, I cannot tell. On, I would imagine that you did. I cannot I, tell on my sources or things that happen in my life. I can tell. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly where it is. Hold on. And it was friggin' funny. What? Hold on. I'm looking. Uh -oh. Here we go. Here's the quote. <laughs> I love you, Ethel. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell on you. And then and then I got I got some I got some text messages that I Just haven't had that. a chance to look at. And then they say that the text message was removed. So I was like, oh, she totally tattled. The text message was removed. Yeah. <laughs> Just, for, Just for that, Ethel. <laughs> Just for that, Ethel. I got something for you. I knew I had these. I didn't know where they were. I've unearthed them. Your good friend, Nicole from California is sending you a bag. I've been looking for these for you for a while. You ready for this? Are you, are you watching now or are you listening, Ethel? I think there's only one of this one. That's going in Brett's But it's, box. Got, it's got the hand in it. It's going Wait. in Brett's box. Red ones. And what's cool about these is I already sent her some really cool ones I found, but most of them have the size and whatnot on the inside of them. Let's see. Here's a little... There's a little blacky blacky pair. 
You guys do not even know how many of these I got at an estate sale. I literally, oh, these are adorable. She's, she's going to pee her pants when she gets these. Okay, let's see. These are beaded. Can you, are you watching, Ethel? Emily and I went to this estate sale two summers ago, and they, it was, the daughter-in-law was selling, well, I mean, the, the son was there too. These are really pretty. Look at this, Ethel. She's going to die. This one still has the tags. They are luxury. Look at this. Still has all the tags from, where were they bought? Well, they're cranberry gloves. They paid $1.19 for them. They are luxury glove. Can't see the whole thing, and I'm not going to look at the red cranberry, or they say. Here's the little taggy tag. Can't get much better than that. This one also still has the tag. Size eight. And where did they buy these at? I love these that have the actual store tags on them. I need to get my nails done. They're looking pretty gnarly. Mon monkey wards for, I don't know how much. Um, here, you don't see this color hardly ever. And these are crispy, crispy. Look at, these are like a burnt. These are farm girl scavenger colors right here. Five and five eighths by four. Hold on. Five and five eighths by four. These five are five eighths. Five Elvet six and a half inches. Look at that tag. Each. A little hangy hangy on it. Babes won't let me start my auctions today. Today's the day you want to start them, so I don't know I what his problem is. I wanted to start them today, but he doesn't he is uh nervous about being responsible for uh printing shipping label labels. So I'm not I'm not doing I'm gonna That's let the them last them. pair. Not keeping them. They're way too small for me. They're all going to Ethel from, Thanks, your, friend, from your friend Nicole in Cal I don't know where the other one like this is, so you'll have to figure out what to do with that. It's not my problem anymore. Nope, nope, nope. Hold the so, fort, Missy. Guys, Hold the fort. Be right back. How many people we got in here? Rude. Monkey ward too. Yeah, what we called it monkey ward. There's there these are nice. Don't get me wrong, Brad. I probably already sold a hundred pairs. I got um a whole big tote, like an 18-gallon tote of these, and I have sold so many. These are the last. Not only did I sell so many, I sent boxes out during the pandemic to a lot of people, and um certain people got five, 10 pairs of these in their boxes. I have sold so many pairs. It's not even funny. So there you go. Tell your dad to look out for a package from Nicole. <laughs> That's hilarious. Crack me up. I found those yesterday. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that I'm nice. I can't deal with that stuff. I got a package. I got a box for Amy too. Is she hanging out in here? Are you hanging out quietly, Amy? She probably isn't. Never, of course. That's right. Or I'll have to send babe, baby. That's what we named her. No, Nobody puts baby in a corner. One of my favorite shows, movies of all time, Dirty Dancing. And if you want this, you can have it too. I'll throw it in your little package. It needs to be washed and pressed. I found it in the garage of an estate sale yesterday. Would you like to have that too? Of course you would. I'm just going to stick it in there. It was, uh, it, it, it came with a bunch of other stuff that I paid $2 for all of it. All of this stuff. You guys, I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm going to blow your minds since she's, since she left us. Here is 
the envelope, the little window envelope, little tiny. This is from, it is a Meyer and Frank credit card receipt. These are the these are the cool things. Here is a insured FDIC insured Lincoln Savings and Loan Association. When was this started? May of 1977. This guy put away June 3rd, June 3rd, June, September, December, March. Every three months he was putting every three months it looks like. Oh, 77. Every three months he was putting about it's hard to tell. The first deposit was $1,007. And then every three months after that, it looks like he was putting ten or fifteen dollars in, and he did that through June of 1982. Here is all, all of this ephemera, you guys. This is a here's another one. This is the cool, this is my favorite one. I have so many, I'm not going to show them all to you. This is Benjamin Franklin Savings and Loan, Portland, Oregon. Cool card, huh? Um, this is a, a hand-typed, hand-typed of everything that ever went on in that account, looks like. Here's the little bookie book. I love these things. People, people, it, it looks almost like a certificate of, of um, well, it says certificate, but it, no withdrawals may be made without this pass book. Got it? He only ever recorded one deposit in here. I literally got all of them. And I have every family picture from and baby books and all the stuff from this family from back and clear back to the 1800s. Yep, yep, I do. And they're from, I have pictures from Tillamook, Oregon. Oh, hey, that's where I put those books. Oh my gosh, look at this. I stole this out of a frame downstairs in the basement. It is a postcard that is in amazing condition. Malcolm X, never been used. They framed it. Noelle. Go. Why can't you put a parcel post? On what? On your auctions. Number one, I would never do parcel post on anything that is worth any kind of money, even if you insure it, because... If they lose it, if something happens to it and it comes back to you, you have to pay return shipping and then you have to pay to have it shipped again. Okay. But why doesn't so, eBay offer it? Probably because, I don't know, I wouldn't put parcel post on it. Huh. The family's all dead, Sandra. Who's the last of the family, unfortunately. And there's like you, like, you know, the, there's a lot of families. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got some of the coolest. Are we selling books? <laughs> uh, I've been on for three hours. I know I've been babysitting. UPS grown. It's so true. what I wanted to, the re, the main reason I wanted to come on was. To show your haul. No. Oh. Oh, that's Hallmark. Holy moly. What? You guys, I am going to show you this. I thought you were coming on because of what I was doing with the lead. I am, and I want to talk about when you come here. Okay. Look at this. I got three of these. They're pop-up books from Hallmark. They're old. Look, watch this. Watch me now. Neat. 
Um, so Jan and I kind of talked a little bit. Reagan's mom, she's headed this way. <laughs> I'm going to be on babysitting here shortly. It's horrible, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that Jan and I might go live a couple of times, maybe more than that. I'm thinking of taking some 8x8 eight eight boxes, some 10x10 10 10 boxes, and some 12x12 12 12 boxes, and she and I filling them up <coughs> and doing an auction on them. Um, toys, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want anything that's going to take us hours to wrap. Does that, does that make sense, you guys? They're going to go in a box inside a garbage can, maybe with a little paper underneath and a little paper on top so that they don't jostle around. There was some change in a couple and it said the hours she worked and what she made. I thought of you the other day, a guy going through an old drawer, found his grandma. Oh, those are so cool. They're so cool. Anyway, what do you guys think about that? I thought we were going to uh, blow up whatnot. We are. Cool. Hey, Reagan. Who's Reagan? The kid that's here. Oh. Hey, Reagan, mom's on her way. To they got that old book smell. Not, not musty mildew, just old book. <laughs> Anyway, that way, um, and then I may very well do a few lots of some ephemera. We'll see. I'm not sure. But this week, um, I guess you guys can't really see me that well. This week, I will be going through my ephemera and my hard goods um, units because I have to have them gone through and moved by the 17th. Jan gets here on the 15th. And then, um, so if I have most of that already done before she gets here, then who was this guy that was going through stuff? You need to send me that, that, no, you don't. I don't need another channel. I don't hardly watch anybody anymore. Um, I don't have time and I don't, you know, that's where it's at. I'm getting a lot done, but um, I guess it'll kind of be, I'll already have the boxes made. We'll give you guys an idea what's in there. You can bid on it. And then, um, we might do that from the shop. Cause I, I'm not having the internet shut off down there. Robert from the old bird. From, okay. You guys, I found some amazing stuff. That's uh, the old bird farm. This estate sale that I went to with Terry Mindful Recycle. If you guys don't follow her, you should be. She's a hoot and a half. Um, they just took all the drawers from the desk and dumped them out in like the magazine boxes, but short, like they were cut off. I found Coro Jewelry. Anybody know the name Coro? I found a uh, sterling. I do, I do, I do. I found a sterling silver Coro, Coro brooch in there that other people have sold for $80. You're so cool. And guess what? I paid maybe five cents for it because I dug through all of those little tiny boxes like nobody else ever does. I found um, Devo and police and all those pin back pins, you name it. I got it. I'm a hoot and a half. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, that'll give you guys an opportunity. So maybe on Wednesday night on, on, uh, Jan's normal live slot, we'll go live Wednesday or so we'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. We're going to sell stuff. We're going to sell shit. We're going to sell shit. It's three hours in, we can swear now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're okay. That word's okay anyway. That was one of the words that they said was okay. And but can yeah. I just say, since we can drop some cuss words, I'm going to shit myself if those leaves sell. 
They're going to sell. Did you not look up sold comps? I did. So then you know they sell. Sort of, yeah. Oh, my God. There's a video out there that, that's called, Does Money Grow on Trees? Yes, I know. I know Can anybody her. find the link for that? I know her. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Sorry. It's because I'm yelling from across the room. Anybody wants to know. That the, the lady that did that video actually put sold comps from eBay for every plant she talked about. She I know that lady. Around, she walks around in her yard and shows you all the different things that are yeah. growing in we her talked yard. About it. We talked but, about it when Babes pulled those leaves out of the garbage can. He seems to think it was some other crazy person. He said that somebody in the chat said something too. Arm Brett. Girl Scavenger. I'm going to go to her page. And what's the search word that I searched for? What's the title? Does money grow on trees? Does or money grow? Something like that. It, it might be money grows on trees. It's 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 not too hard to find. That's it's in throwing my life. hands up in the air. Uh oh. You're fast. Well, yeah, I did a search on your channel. Oh. So if you started the auction today and just did a five-day auction, then you'd be there? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. These could potentially be big ticket. They're uh, wood carvings. There's a, a movie out there called, um, is it O? Oh, oh, it, oh, it's there's magic. a song that's called, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Jan hears, but does she hear? I she have, does. there are, there are times where, um, it just, it, it takes it a while to click with me. Gotta remember, Noelle and I are very much the same with independent stubbornness. So sometimes I just, and, it, and it's not, it's not a matter of volume and it's not a matter of forcefulness. It's a matter of when my mind is open and it goes click. Oh, that's me. She has a baseball bat. She's threatening me with a baseball bat. <laughs> Um, I wonder if there's a joke for that. Let me see. I would assume there is. What do you do to a naughty bat? Oh, boy. <laughs> you paddle his bat side. But, um, but. Yeah, that one was bad. <clears throat> Let's see. When does a bat raise his hand? Nine... When he wants to be excused, that one wasn't very funny. Eight by six. That will fit in an eight by six by six box. What does a bat get a big charge out of? Eight. Six. Come on. Six. Come on. Get a charge out of? Yeah. Where's my skew? It's right next to the title. Isn't it right? Oh, you have the old school system. This is not old school. This is new and I hate it. No, it's not new or your skew would be right there. The skew there is, it way is. Oh, you have it close. Oh, yeah, it's right there. It so eight by six by six. It's a battery. But um bump. Barn bin. It's in the barn bin. Barn bin A. <laughs> what does a bat grow in his garden? <laughs> Batunias, bat Batagonias, and bat-eyed Susans. 
Oh my. <laughs> Where do you look for a bat ring? <laughs> You're cracking yourself up. <laughs> I got <laughs> in the bathtub, especially on Batterday night, because look at <laughs> the bats crying. Because he thinks that one's so funny. It's four pounds, yo. It's four pounds. What's playing this week at Batford on uh, Avon? Four pounds. <laughs> Anthony and Cleopatra. Preview. Oh, heavens to Mercatroy. Preview. <laughs> <coughs> that looks lovely. Nice picture. I like that. That is a very nice picture. Right, Terry. List it. I Get really try not. Woo -hoo -hoo. Patagonias. Janice I really Sophie. try not to grow any flowers that aren't edible. If I don't get something out of them, and I'm not talking about pleasure because there's all kinds of gardening you can do to get pleasure out of five. I have to spend time on it. It better give something back to me. Period. If it's a tree, it's going to be a fruit tree. Some trees just provide shade. Fruit trees provide shade too, dear heart. And, and wind through the leaves sound. Smooth and branches on your roof that can break things. Oh my gosh. And shit you have to pick up. If oh I have to gosh. pick up leaves and branches, I better get something out of it another part, another time of the year. Do you see what I'm saying? That bag is too small. <laughs> You're welcome, Brett. You're such a tattletale, Brett. <laughs> okay, here's another one. I know some of you know this, but let's just talk about this. Since I didn't have my video this week. Stickers. I got stickers. These are... Mrs. Mrs. Grossman, and they're unopened, and they're worth a lot of money. And when I say a lot of money, this package of little stickers here is worth about 20 bucks. Yes. That's good. This yes. package of Sandy Lion. A lot of money to me is 100 but I'm trying to mentally go When five. you're talking about this kind of crap. Crap. That somebody paid 99 cents for at JK. Oh, this one was Myron Frank. Crap. Crafts. I said crafts, not crap. Craft crap. Look and at that, you guys. I listed three things. I'm proud of you. Four things. Good going. I got a bunch of stuff listed and I got a bunch of drafts I need to finish up. That's what I've been doing all day because, because there's a child here that there's a child here that doesn't belong. The only thing a dwarf about it was the size of the peaches. You need more than one, Terry. Why they get lonely? Some trees don't pollinate very well unless you have two of the same of the same variety and you need to look into what was on the tag on that but most peach trees you either need another peach tree or a nectarine and you should have some form of a nut tree around it when you plant your fruit trees you need to do what's called companion planting and so you should have um you should have a fruit a nut that'd be me three trees two different kinds of fruit trees say you want a peach tree and a nut you could have a hazelnut you could have a walnut you could have a pecan whatever and then maybe a pear tree or an apple tree because each of those trees attracts different kinds of insects and whatever the one attracts the other doesn't attract and they keep other insects away and then if you plant below it things like rhubarb and stuff like that you will notice that you will have less scabs on your apples and defects and stuff on your trees because they are all companion plants and they take care of each other. Okay, so if we click, I want 
Books and Magazines, Books on Art. Wait a minute. How old is this book? 70s. Do collectibles. Really? Okay. Anything that you put in collectibles, you don't have to pay a, a fee on. Really? Really. So you can go collectibles and antique and collectible books. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's your, is that, is that eBay's search result or yours? eBay's. So collectibles, what do you, what, what's that say right there? I can hardly read it where your pointer is. Collectible figures and supplies. No. Why isn't it giving you options for books? Let's do edit. First category. Just go into collectibles. Collectibles. Now find um, books. There, is, there isn't one on books. There is. Oh, comic books and memorabilia. No. Should be antique and collectible books. Nope. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hanging. I'm hanging. What do I got science here? Science and medicine, have... science fiction and horror. Transportation, vanity, wholesale lots. Nope, no books in there. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. There is. There isn't. Lamps and yeah. lighting. Kitchen and home. Holiday and seasonal. Disney, Anna. I don't even have a category for art in here. Are you under all categories? Yes. Okay. I went to collectibles. Ooh, Lulu said that uh, her boss at work sliced two different kinds of apple trees together. Yeah, that's normal. Some people will have, I think he grafted he grafted one onto the other. That's what it's called. That's really weird. There should be an antiquarian. Maybe they removed it from vintage. Uh, okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to go out of here. Uh, <coughs> okay, I'm going to go back to books. Okay, go ahead. Books. Uh, they have an antiquarian and collectible category under books and magazines. Yeah, that, that that's probably where it is. It should have been. It should. It used to be under collectibles. They probably took it out of there. Rat bastard. Sorry. Matt, I had a Matt. Asian pear tree that had three different. That has had. Three different types of Asian pears on them that we grafted three different types onto the rootstock. And most of the rootstock that's used for any kind of a fruit tree is a cherry rootstock, which I personally don't like. That's what they use. I think it's art and criticism. What the hell is it? Let me see. Arts and ideas. Hey, Side Street Market. Hi, Christine. It's a study of the principal styles of Western art. Art history and criticism. Publisher is Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston. Hey, what? Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston. The author is... Wow, I have a book that's listed for 470. I must have just listed that. I don't remember listing that. But I like pretty... Yep, just listed it. William Fleming. Okay. Christine, you let me know if you ever want to join for a for a live listing. Find yep, they took the collectibles book that. out, and it is exactly what you're saying. It is the special attributes. Uh, would this be considered antiquarian and collectible? You have to go through books. 
I feel like this is more of a textbook. Has the tree passed my Asian pear tree? No, they haven't taken that down yet. They're getting ready to burn the house down, um, which it needs to be demolished. There's nothing savable. That house is 200 some years old. I mean, there may be some wood down inside, but they're, they've donated it to the La Center Fire, to the Clark County Fire Department, and they're going to use it as a training thing. Uh, I was by there the other day when I went to see my mom, and they have dug up the septic system. <coughs> All of the barns are down, except for the big barn that has the Make Mine Milk on it. They're going to keep, that's actually a shop. They're going to keep that there. My brother was there when they took the, when they, they, reclaimed all the lumber when they got down to the just the timbers of the big barn then they they shoved it over and my brother was there and videotaped that so i have that it was pretty cool actually um oh, no. so they reclaimed all the lumber and all the metal mm -hmm. and all of that stuff to be reused for um other projects because oh, i want to light the match I want to start it on fire. Really? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. No, I won't be there. I don't know when they're going to do it. I can find out with a quick phone call, but nah. It is a test. So, Dren's friend that's here right now. Dren's his mom, Dren's his friend. Mom. Dren's yeah. friend. Dren's friend. Yeah. I don't know exactly what they're going to do with the property, Terry. I've heard a million different things. I do know that they have to, they needed it because of the elevation it was at, because they may have to put one more water treatment plant in for, to have enough for that whole area. Um, that's all I know on that. Um, Wow, my 30 day sales total is seven thousand one hundred and thirteen and forty two dollars. That's because you got cool stuff listed. Wowie, wowie. So, is this considered a linen style cover? Is it fabric? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's funny. I was just singing that song. Anyway, so, and then, and then there's a lot of it too, Terry, that's um, on a hillside that's over a protected uh, creek and all of that that's got trees and stuff on it. They can't do anything there and they have to keep back so far, which is nice because my mom kept a piece of property about nine acres, a little over nine acres where her house is. Our trust is buying it from her so that we <coughs> take care of it and she doesn't have to worry about it. All she has to do is live the rest of her days out and be happy. If anything happens with the house, the trust will take care of it. We have hired landscapers so so she doesn't have to do anything outside other than pets around, cut flowers, have a little garden if she wants to. If Jan so that's 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 where all of that is. It means no worries. For right? the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. And you know what? As much as she and I don't really get along that well, I can I can be good. I she's lived a, a a long life. She raised five kids, and I can't tell you how many nieces and nephews and a couple of brothers. And she just needs to not have to worry about doing anything but having some fun. She's gonna be 80 this year in March. And she still gets around very well, although, you know, it's where it's at. Somebody was talking about, um, why can't my mind, like, 
sort out where I hear information. I don't know. Maybe I'll know once you say it. Somebody was talking about uh, cat, cats, uh, totals. Well, she did a video on it all. Oh, that that must have been it. She did a video on it or something. I haven't seen that yet. I know she sells a lot of furniture. Well, she used to. I don't think she does anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, got you. Huh. No yawning. You know One of my YouTube followers actually sent me three, two, two or three nine ninety nine super thanks. Oh, nice. Those are stickers. No, it was like she watched the videos and sent me money, like old videos. Oh, how do you? Uh I didn't know you could do that. Apparently you can. She's going through my videos. She's here's another. She's commenting. She's what must be. She's going to be going to need some mental health uh, appointments when today's over. I don't know how many videos she's watched. Oh, she's hilarious, though. She she's been she's been catching up on stuff. Um. Anyway, so yeah, Kat did a whole video on all of her totals and everything. The only thing that she didn't share was YouTube and she said she didn't feel like she wanted to share it. And you know what? More power to her. I don't think she needs, I don't think anybody needs to share anything that they don't want to. I'm making about a hundred dollars a month, I think. Well, that's good. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> Actually watching a replay instead of listening. I'm going to tell her that um, you may need an extra appointment with a counselor. Now you stop that. This week. You stop putting yourself down, Missy. She's hilarious. Uh oh, okay, I'll be right back. Looks like Reagan's mom's here. All right, I'm probably going to sign off pretty soon. Your mama, yeah. That's a picture. Lots of pictures. I'm trying, Terry. Ooh, Eden, drop a link. I want to watch that. I haven't watched any of her content in years.
Yeah, it's all about getting in that zone, right, Terry? And it helps because, you know, at mom's, I would get to the point where I would comp some. It's her first whatnot. Oh, cool. Um, I didn't have any of my shipping stuff. I didn't have my shipping. I mean, I had a scale, but I had to move my laptop to get to the scale. It, it's just, I like the flow. I like the, the spinny around flow. All right. I am going to switch this to whatnot. Google wants to know your location. Hmm, I don't think that's necessary right now. All right. Uh, I think that's how I did it. I found out. Categories you follow. Okay, so this is my account. You guys ever, have you been on whatnot? I think it's safer to watch from a computer. It's not as easy to click the damn button. All right, so let's try to find her search. Crazy Lamp Lady. Upcoming live streams today at 7 p.m. <laughs> wow. Look at all these people that are already, already in here. You know, there's a couple of people that have, like uh, Jody Renshaw. You guys remember Jody? Um, she's gone exclusively. Whatnot? Hang on, let me find Noel's microphone here, so we don't. It should be fun. She's not. I don't think she's ever done any kind of live sale. Yeah, Jody does, and then Auntie Christy uh, came in the other night. Let me make sure I'm subscribed to her. And said she just did her first one. Oh, she's doing one tonight at 11. I am following her. Can you put alerts on these? How do you how do you do notify? I don't know if you can do it on <coughs> I looked for Jody, couldn't find her. She is a studio banger. Bangor. There she is. Studio 36 Bangor is Jody. Follow them and you can also heart the shows. I'm already following them. I just, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like she's doing one. She's doing one on Tuesday. That's Jody. But if, if there's an upcoming, how do you set a notification on the computer? This is, this is very app oriented whatnot is what's this i don't know what it did maybe i bookmarked it didn't tell me um That's it. Bookmark. Yes. Okay. Wow. She's got 1730 people have bookmarked this. Look at all the people in there. Now see, that's very blurry to me. Let me see if I can. Well, that won't, that won't do. It would have to be like that. Welded key ball? What? 
What is that? I love this. Oh, I gotta send it to Banks. Hey, Glenn. We're just, we're wrapping up. Wrapping up. It's a key ball. I want to make a key ball. I've never seen a key ball before. What else you got over here? Opaline glass bottle. Nice. Good thing she's got help, man. Because if she, if everything sells, which it probably will, because she's Jocelyn, everything has to ship tomorrow. Yep. Hmm. I'm scrolling through what she has listed. So she doesn't, she only has one thing set up as a buy it now item which I could literally click on that and buy it right now. But she has, so that's the big thing that about whatnot, right? You have to preload everything. So she has 50 items preloaded, all auction style, and she'll be doing them in order. Or she might jump around, you know, if somebody says, can you run the something, something now? But this is this is the way that whatnot should be. This this is the way that you should pre everything. And people are already bidding. So if you if you announce that you're doing it, um, so she for all we know it could have been okay. So her starting price here was four dollars. So she might have started this one at $4 and it's already pre-bid up to $6. And this one, this is already, the whole Howard one is already pre-bid up to $15. I don't want to click it because I don't know if that'll make me bid. It's very, it's very one click. Seems like a lot of pressure. Not if you're a well-oiled machine. If you're a well-oiled machine, then, man, you can just, you can bang it out because they do everything for you. We don't, we don't have to invoice. They, they, they do all the calculations on the back end. And, um, you know, you can, you have to preload uh, weight of your items and um, what they would be packed in. She was getting nervous because there were so many people bookmarked. Ah, she'll be fine. If she tries to keep up with the chat, she won't like it. <laughs> but I mean, it's a, it's a different format. You know, it's whatnot is not about developing relationships. Like, you know, I've gotten to know, uh, each of you and you've gotten to know me, you know, in, in this, it's just not the format for that. So once that ticker starts, when they click the, the ticker for the time period that they choose, some of them could be 30 seconds, come up, some of them could be 45 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever the case may be. Um, you can't, you have no control of stop. Let's work this out in the chat type of thing. It, it's all automated. So what whatnot will announce who the winner was and you pay right then. So it, it literally says you're the winner and then it you have to have your your uh, credit card or your PayPal or whatever set up on on your whatnot and it literally like if I you if you have PayPal and you have notifications on on your phone, the second you win, you immediately see, um, the money come out of your PayPal account. So it's, 
amazing for the sellers, the sellers that are organized and, you know, that type of thing. I mean, they can, there's still a way to have an option to cancel an order, but you have to, you have to contact the seller, you know? So if, if anybody was struggling, I have you muted, honey. I'll, un, I'll unmute you. Hold on. I got to find the mute button. So if the, um, if the seller was selling on another platform, um, and they were struggling to get people to pay, this ends that frustration. So that's another yeah. thing with Misty. That's one of the reasons that Misty is loving this is because she doesn't have to hunt for anybody. You you get paid the second that timer stops. Yep. I think I'll do well with it, Wida, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready to incorporate that. In Jan and I are gonna are gonna do we're gonna experiment on my whatnot, and so we should both have it down by the time she gets home. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But it's a whole other ball game when you have two people. When you have somebody For helping sure. you, it it's it's there's a big difference. And if anybody's thinking about do it and doing it, I'll tell you what's in my head is I am going to um, record the entire the entire thing. How are you gonna do that with my streamyard? With your streamyard? Yes. So I'll have my stream yard and I'll have my camera looking at me and I will have my screen share because I don't like the fact that I can't double check things. Like if you accidentally run the wrong thing or the wrong title, or you rerun something with the same title, if you're not keeping good records, which is why a lot of people like to do two points two two people to work on it. I have never seen any whatnots with two people other than Dom and, 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 and Mrs. PT. I'm talking about me. I would, I would want to, I would want somebody backing me up either, either in, in the chat watching things or just, uh, you don't, it, it's live. You don't know what's going to happen, you know? Yes. I don't have a problem with that, Terry. Nope, me neither. I definitely couldn't, you can't wing a whatnot sale. You have to, you have to be pre-ready. Yeah, it's been updated a lot. They do media mail now. You can too wing a whatnot sale. I can't. I would never be able to wing a whatnot sale. I'm just saying it can be done. Yeah. Well, and until you've done it for a long time, until you've had a few sales and you feel comfortable with it, then that, that, you know, because if you're winging it, then you're putting the titles and all of that in it as you're, as you're showing the thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. True. I wouldn't be no different than you doing a live sale with a bunch of stuff that you didn't really look at. Like when you first started out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't see anything on here where it says how many people are in there. Who's who are you watching? This is crazy lamp lady is doing her very first whatnot tonight. Oh, and these guys mentioned it. Okay. So I thought it would be one fun to watch while I'm, while I'm doing more listing. All right. I am going to sign off of here, go and hug and kiss my babes, and see what he's been doing. TMI, TMI. Yeah, it's a rule. Can't leave the room without kisses and hugs. It's a rule. We're going to go without that rule for seven, eight days while you're here. Well, they'll Same. have to be FaceTime kisses. Okay. But, you I'm know, not, the whole leaving the room thing. Kisses. I'll give you a hug here and there, but you're not getting any kisses from me. <laughs> Just letting you know that right now. Let's, 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 let's get this out of our systems. 
Yeah, I've seen that too, Marilyn. I've seen a bunch of them really disorganized. But you gotta. You guys are on Facebook. Dom, primetime treasure hunter, has a Facebook that is the largest Facebook group for whatnot. Mm -hmm. you can go in and read everybody's trials and tribulations and their woe Most is me. Most of it is complaining. Yeah. Bye, Barb. All right, Noelle, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Uh oh, wait a minute. I think the pay is released upon delivery. No, not on whatnot. Oh. Oh, yes, upon, it is. Upon delivery, yes. The that pay is, is released 100%. Yeah. Yep, that is true. The payout, you do get pay. The money gets taken out. I probably should have phrased that better. If you are the buyer, you are paying that second. Mm -hmm. So that's immediate. What not hangs on to it follows the tracking and the money is not released to the seller until the item is delivered. What, what <coughs> not is working on and eventually will happen is that if you buy five things from the same seller, then you should only have to pay once they need to figure out how to hold what you, you know. Yeah. And only, no, and only charge PayPal once. Cause they can, you can combine shipping now. That's just mm -hmm. on the, on the seller, they go in and they adjust the package. Right. But the, if somebody is like, like, let's say somebody tries to buy and successfully buys every single thing that Jocelyn puts up tonight. A lot of times I have seen where people's credit cards have stopped working yep. because it got flagged by the bank for all those tiny amounts going so fast. Ooh, Paula or and Becky at nine. Who are Paula and Becky? Paula, uh, one, two, three Southern Vintage Finds, and Becky is a uh, Viking Vintage Treasure. She's been on my channel before. She's the I, okay. uh, buddy with the Fenton people. Oh, you can see that on the app, Aiden, that 380 are waiting. That's cool. A lot of people might be intimidated by a new app. A lot of people don't want to. That's know. been around for four years now. I know. But it's still, I mean, if your world is all things YouTube and that's what you watch and that's what you use all day long to like be off of YouTube, there's somebody from Buffalo, New York. Hi, Barb. Buffalo, New York. Huh. Well, they're getting excited. That's did, cool. um, did Jocelyn do a preview video? No idea. It, I just Whoa. found out about it in here. I, I, for, I think it was Terry that mentioned it. Terry or Aiden? I'm sure she did a preview video here. Let me look and see. Don't know. That will be some rough bidding with that many people. It's not rough at all. It is because what not? It's only so many all seconds. Of it. It depends on it depends on what they set it for. But if there's like, say there's this decorative welded key ball or whatever, right now the pre-bid for those balls, one is up to $25 and one is up to $30. This is this is like a just in case format. You put in the highest amount you're willing to pay, and it'll auto bid everybody. But as soon as she brings that up and other people start bidding on it, she has to start it at whatever the highest bid is in there. Say that again. So those welded ball, keychain balls, whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. As soon as she brings that item up for sale, since somebody else has put a pre-bid in, say that. Say the starting bid was five dollars, and now they pre-bid it yeah. up to forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. When that comes up on the screen for the auction piece, it will start out at forty nine ninety nine, not at five. Yeah, and it'll it'll start out with so and so is currently the winner, immediately. Right. I never know when people are having whatnot sales. Yeah, it, I mean, if you're somebody that sits still and and you can have it open on. 
um, on your desktop, you can you can do it that way. But I mean, a lot Sometimes of people. Sometimes the desktop will be glitchy too. Yes. Um, I was just going to do it because I have absolutely no intention on buying anything. So I'm not going to be know. anywhere near the mouse. So just imagine that it's on my TV. 500 people now and she starts in two minutes. I was just putting her on my other. I don't know what's wrong with this computer. It just It'll be totally... fun to watch. I won't uh, watch it. Because... There will be shenanigans, Miss Tony Catano, for sure. Washington Listen, shenanigans. Tony, did you, did you, were you listening when I talked about something that Jan and I are going to do? Yeah, Selling we're going to try whatnot and we're going to do some reseller lots. Yep. I'm going to fill some boxes up. I'll have toys, I'll have vintage stuff, and I'll have some ephemera and I'm going to auction them off. I, I don't do free shipping though, so you guys get it. better keep that in mind. Yeah. No free shipping. Kathy Wise. Oh, why don't I see there. her? Oh, let me find her here. Crazy lamp lady, no spaces. I know. Okay. Because I don't think I'm falling. There she is right there. All right, guys. We're going to sign off. Have fun tonight. See you Wednesday. Tune in to the same bat channel wah, 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 wah. There's some very bat jokes 